Hello everyone, GHF here. It is already 1st of April. So let's have a look at what G-Shock watches that Council Japan planning on releasing at least. We'll see how it goes due to this COVID-19 outbreak. I'm sure things will change. But before I begin, I have to say that I'm sorry to those who are affected directly to this COVID-19 outbreak. Some even lost homes, jobs. Some people even lost their company. So I can only I can only imagine how it is like you know I'm fortunate enough to still be able to have a roof above my head still be able to feed my family at least for these upcoming few months but I hope you guys are doing great I hope you guys are doing well so stay safe and uh, let's have a look you know at all these models that are supposedly to be used outdoors these are all great G-Shock watches but such a bad timing you know Starting off with the DW5600LC-2JF Blue, DW5600LC-4JF Roast, and uh, DW5600-8JF Bone White Colorway, all of which are soft color series. And uh, this is kind of colorway that cats are usually applied on a baby G, but now they are doing this on a G-Shock. You either like it or you hate it. In my case, I'm not a fan of this, so I'm not planning on getting any one of these at all but if you are interested here you are this is a new color variance moving on we'll have at another g squad g shock so this is what uh, most people are anticipating about new g squad series there's the one with sensors not one with only step tracker sensor if i'm not mistaken gbd-100 in three color variants white black with blue accents all black with red gray accents and the third one navy blue with red gray and purple accents on the face it looks really good i'm pretty sure I'm, i'll be getting this one over here yeah the price is only twenty thousand japanese yen which is fair enough in my opinion considering to all the functions that it has council japan already uh released a bunch of video explaining how to pair this watch to your phone what it could do all the technicalities as well so this is really really new council usually will um release the watch first and then make a video explaining and all the details how to use the watch and such but today they changed that which is great which means if you are planning on getting one of these at least check those video out first and then you could decide which one is the best for your budget or for your daily use if I mean we could use you know all these watches are made to be used outdoors with this COVID-19 outbreak yeah can't really get much use out of it anyway right probably the GBD 100 will be fits fine for uh, indoor use but moving on to the uh, quad sensor the five sensor not quad sensor the five sensor version yeah this one probably won't be for everyone at least right now on April we'll see how it goes if things change probably this will be the best selling models I'm pretty sure even if we cannot go outside this model gonna sell out like hotcakes especially the red and the gray one it looks really military like even though this watch are sport watch these are health and fitness category wristwatch different from the master of g which means which are made for professional use for militaries um, security officers and such this one are for sports for everybody to use for consumers so four different colorways so far i'm sure there will be more all of which will only cost us fifty thousand japanese yen plus 10 percent tax but i'm sure i could buy one at one of these um from yahoo japan auction at a much lower cost usually they will be much cheaper especially from those tax-free shop from japan which is still running if i'm not mistaken japan haven't been on lockdown yet so you could still go out in japan so if i'm not mistaken i might be wrong anyway uh, for colorway, uh, I want you guys to comment down below which one should I get. I'm looking at the red and gray and black, so I'm not sure which one out of these three should I be getting first. Comment down below and you know vote for it, and probably I'll pick that one first and then move on from there. So far, this watch has five sensors. If you haven't heard of it yet, which I'm sure every one of you guys should by now, this watch is everywhere. It is on Instagram, it is on Facebook, a lot of articles are talking about this. It is even on YouTube, Council G-Shock Japan even 
publish promotional videos for this watch already so you should know about this watch already by now including what it could do the matter is your color options and either you like it or not for me personally at first glance like this it looks great it looks so good in term on papers yeah on papers but I'm I'm pretty sure there's something gonna turn us out wrong I mean whenever they create a G-Shock that is just as good like this usually something will went wrong remember uh, the last time they released the quad sensor golf master there are a little bit of issues going on but yeah for this one I'm sure I hope not no but I'm pretty sure something gonna turns out bad or something is missing at least if there are issues doesn't matter this watch is the best G-Shock watch yet on papers best values in terms of functions I'm doubting the constructions will be as good as those on the master of G category but for function wise this is one hell of a watch really really good especially at that price point though Moving on, uh, we'll have a look at the GG-B100, the British Army collaboration, which is not comparable at all to this G-Squad model, considering the price is expensive. <laughs> look at that, the price is much more expensive than this guy who has 5 sensors, GPS included. This one, or this one. I mean, of course, the uh, G-Squad wins if you compare them both, but, well, if you like British Army uh, outfits, or if you are into military team, sure, GGB100 is the only colorway that we have at the moment that fits to that. This is a collaboration and they release alongside this G Squad, which I'm, you know what? I'm still can't process this. Why on earth they do this? They should have made this British Army collaboration using this GBD H1000 instead. That would sell this watch like hotcakes. But hey, we'll see how it goes. Moving on, this is GMDB800, still a G-Squad model, and I'm surprised as well that they're still releasing this, you know, considering they're about to release this one, which is times more advanced than this one. But sure, if you don't like the size, if you don't like the shape, probably these three new color variants will be the one for you. It is a lot smaller than the already existing GBD800s, which means, yeah, if you have a skinny wrist, why not you know the gbd 800 is already small enough and this one is even smaller so should be good should be much better should shouldn't be get in your way at least if that is your concern while you are doing your indoor um health and fitness activities so yeah small size watch could help with that but these guys though this new g squad series are quite big i'm sure that will be any issues but we'll just have to see how it goes once i got it on hand so full review will be coming up but right now I want you guys to comment down below which colorway should I pick and that's pretty much it for G-Shock watches. I'll add a slides over here showing all the uh, other Casio watches that will be coming out as well but so far that is all guys. Stay safe, stay indoors and thank you very much for watching, thank you very much for your support. This is JSHF. Again, stay safe guys.